Question 20. The table shows the income tax rates for the 2019-2020 financial year. For the 2019-2020 financial year, Wally had a taxable income of $122,680. During the year, he paid $3,000 per month in pay-as-you-go, P-A-Y-G, tax. Calculate Wally's tax refund, ignoring the Medicare levy. Okay, so I think the first thing that we can do here is calculate the PAYG um, tax that Wally has already paid. Okay, it's $3,000 per, per month, and it's times 12, so 12 months in a year. So that works out to be $36,000. Now we need to work out the amount of tax Wally owes uh, based on the tax table. So let's say tax owed is equal to, uh, now his taxable income uh, is $122,680. So that's this row there. So it's between sort of above the $90,001 mark up to the $180,000 mark. And we just follow the instructions here, basically in, uh, in the second column, which tells us how to calculate the amount of tax um, that Wally um, owes. Okay, so he's gonna pay 20,000 $797 plus, so plus sign there, 37 cents for each dollar over 90,000. So what does this mean? 37 cents for each dollar, in each dollar, 37%. So we could just write that as 37% multiplied by the difference between $90,000 and Wally's um, taxable income. So that'll be 122, $1,680 minus $90,000. So we just managed to, to fit that in there. Okay. So let's uh, calculate that. And so it's 20,797 plus 37%. Okay. Multiplied by okay, 122,680 dollars minus $90,000. Okay, and we get uh, 32,888 dollars and 60 cents. Okay, so the tax refund is equal to the PAYG tax, so 36,000 um, $36, dollars minus the amount of tax that Wally owes which is actually less than what he's paid. Okay. And it's $3,111.40.